Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. This is the Haunting of Hill House. This is episode four and this episode is called Twin Thing. I think we might be breaking from the one character per point of view per episode thing here. I have a sneaky feeling this is a dual kind of outlook on what's been happening or what happened in the past. I am really enjoying watching this. It's such an interesting series. It's terrifying at the same time, not only kind of in terms of the paranormal aspect of it, but the psychological aspect of it as well. Um, these kids have gone through so much. It's really kind of difficult to kind of watch their struggles as adults, but I'm really looking forward to seeing where they take it in this episode. So let's go. He was in the basement. Oh. He even ripped my shirt. You believe me, don't you, Abigail? Oh, shit a brick. When I was a kid, my brother taught me how to spot faces in clouds. 2004, my second tour in Iraq, my company secured the ruins of a bombed out hospital and most folks don't know what happens to eyeballs in a fire. In the right kind of fire, they, uh, they can melt. Pretty soon I start seeing that little dead girl's face everywhere. It's in the clouds, it's in the dark, on fabric. It's fucking everywhere, you know? Bloody hell. For one night I dropped a little acid and there she is. Thing is, is I still see her. Oh, I can't see anything else. I see her. I leaned on my habit to get rid of that face and my habit made sure that I never would. Yeah. I'm glad Luke's going to these kinds of meetings. Luke, how about you? 90? <clears throat> so, here goes. Oh, wow. One. Two. Seven. That's him. The man I saw in the basement. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Can I have the hat? <laughs> Give him the hat. Big boys, they know the difference between what's real and what's imaginary. Oh, come on. So what do you say, champ? A lot of people have probably lived here, though. That's why there's so much stuff. Oh, nice. I'm having a total deja vu right now. Kids' books are on the lower shelf, so even the little boy with the wheelchair can reach his favorites. Wow. That got really specific. Yeah, bloody hell. Body swinging back and forth right there. Yeah. That is slightly morbid. I've burned Shirley for thousands of dollars. <laughs> like to feel like it was my job. Stolen from Steve on countless occasions. Mm. Do I just start with, I briefly lived in a haunted house? <laughs> I would start there. You should call him back tomorrow. Tell him about your chip. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he won't believe it. I hate bunk beds. <laughs> I sent three. Well, I only got two. It must be stuck. How can it be Maybe stuck? Maybe we can drop some other stuff to shake it loose. There's something else up there. Run for your life. Like who? This is Dully or Theo? Where's now? <gasps> oh, Jesus! <gasps> is it his friend? How the fuck do you expect people to get through this without friends? We don't. One of the biggest issues... Codependency? And just sometimes. I'm just getting some air. Is he gonna walk? Hi, this is Nell. Please leave a message after the... Oh, bloody hell. Hey, hey it's, uh, it's me. Should be back by tonight. Just have to find a friend. Oh, God. I don't think she wants and, uh, to be found. Don't, don't, don't worry, I'm, I'm fine. Who is that? <laughs> what 
the hell was that? There's somebody tapping. Luke, go back to bed. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Jesus Christ, run. Oh my God. It is hot. Oh, he's so scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's relapsed. You know that? You know that we're full up and we need these beds for people who actually want Shit. to get well. You run, you give up your spot. That's the way it is. Please. And those are the rules. She's right. An idea. Um, if I can get you a motel. Why is he, yeah, why is he going to get money? Kind of in each other's heads. You know, it's been like that since we were kids. It's a twin it's a thing. twin thing. So he feels what happens and you vice know, versa. <clears throat> her mom, she, he kind of reminded me of her. She's gonna bail again. So good, I, I got a date pass. Is uh, is Steve here? No, he isn't. <laughs> is he, well, is he, is he coming back no. soon? Or I can just... Hey. Okay, Why does Steve you... live? Can you just give me Steve's address then, please? I did. Surprised he mentioned it. Where do you get your ideas from? Life. I write about haunted houses. The short story with the imaginary little friend in the garden. The one. Hmm. Do you know that one? Um, yeah. Abigail. Abigail. Yeah. <laughs> you know she stayed up with me that first week when I was coming down. Oh, you know, when he was. You ever seen someone in the Yep. Yeah. I knew she was there. And she talked me through it. She wrote it out. She for helped. Me. Awesome. That's all I wanted. Thirty days clean, so you could make me feel like shit again. He has to be fine. Luke. Oh. The way they've interweaved these is so clever. Oh God, this isn't what it looks like. Um. Hey. I, I, oh God! I saw him walking in. And I thought we were fucked. It's all good. We got money. Wow, well, seven. He's called because oh, Nell's dead. Just a few more blocks. I want a clean hotel. No junkies on the sidewalk. Be back in a flash. Oh, she's gonna do a runner. Okay. Oh. Joey. Yeah, run as fast as you can. Joey! I am. Um, I just got scared of anything. I guess I just expected her to um, come back. To come back. Those taillights—they were the worst. Red eyes in the dark, just taking hope with them. Oh my god. And I, I, I'd get clean, you know, a week, a month. Where are you? We'll come get you. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. A bent neck lady. Why seven? Mom, Dad, Stephen, Cheryl, Theo, you, me. That keeps you safe. Sometimes you gotta do it a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Don't forget to count. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. One, two, three. Don't turn around. Come home, my love. Fuck off. My 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 arms and legs are they're so, so stiff and 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 I, and I Oh my god. It is um it's 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 now. Now's dead. It was suicide. It wasn't. I have to say, I think every episode I watch becomes my new favourite episode. I loved that. That was, from the moment it started and that, that war veteran kind of did his little speech, um, I was literally, I was hooked in. This was so beautifully written, this episode. I genuinely think, out of all of them, I think Luke may now be my my favorite um the little boy who plays the younger version is just amazing and then we've got this this older guy playing the older luke who's just as brilliant i really enjoyed this it was a little bit of an emotional roller coaster this one this guy with the hat and we've got this you know element of luke being able to feel everything that Nell feels. So when he's cold, it's not because of withdrawal, it's because she's dead. And he's basically feeling how cold she is lying on this, you know, table. And his aches and pains, I'm assuming, is because rigor mortis is starting to set in with Nell's body. This was just an absolute mental mind Boom, really. And the fact that the guy with the hat when Luke turned around was his mum. I just do not know where this is going to go next, but that's what's so brilliant about it. I think I'm going to sign off, um, but thank you, and I will see you later. Cheers.